the Demon, a vehicle that strikes fear in the hearts of mere mortals. But what is it that gives this car an edge over the competition? In this video, we're going to take a closer look at some of the technologies and methods used by SRT and how Forza Tuned amplifies those attributes through their upgrade packages. So you guys know me, I'm the Subaru guy, the Evo guy, like I'm really into imports. But I will say these demons, they're sick, man. They really are. Especially when they're, they're built to release all of the potential that they have. So let's take a closer look. Smells so good in here. Very nice plush leather. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> now here's one of the things that is a little sketchy in my opinion. Four and a half inch, 28. I wonder if it stops. These Hoosiers, I know these will do their job. These will make it go real well. That's some serious meat. Again, I, I cannot get over this little pencil dick tire up here in the front. But I know what it's for. It's, it's less rolling resistance. Uh, you'll see a lot of guys with uh, imports and, and probably in these drag cars too, they'll use uh, ceramic wheel bearings and to remove the rolling resistance because, yeah, you know, that's part of the drag. It's part of the, the friction that slows the car down. So running these small tires on the front will probably help it in the quarter mile. Whoa, but wait, there's more. Oh, let's go over here and check these out. I know this isn't really part of the, the demon video, but it's still pretty cool. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Oh, shit. I don't even know what this is. It's a Ford racing motor. Um, it, it's beyond me. I don't even know. Ford racing tag on it? No, no price tag. Ooh, what do we have here? Looks like we got some forged pistons. Nice and high compression too. Look at that. Super flat. Oh my God, look at the size of that super damper. <laughs> It looks pretty OEM, which is kind of what we go for. Supercharger has been through our modification program. Um, we use a pulley that looks like stock with a constrictor grip coating, um, but you see the green belt, you know. Um, this has our catch can breather system, which is an actual, a dual valved, um, baffled catch can. Um, not the atypical uh, beer can with a hose on it that everybody uses, you know, this is fully functional. Um, it's just little things, you know, I mean, we use, high grade hose, um, AN fittings, instead of hose clamps, you know, we use power grip stuff, just clean stuff. Nice. You know, and it hooks into the clean side separator. And we have some billet adapters. So I try not to, I try not to molest the car in any way. So like this, for instance, you know, this is an OEM EVAP line. So I have these made and machine shop makes them and it's a billet adapter. Uh, to go into the factory evap lines that will go into a hose you know so clips in you try to make sure like you know it's just a pet peeve of mine if you look underneath here mm -hmm. there's all factory fasteners you don't see any clips missing mm. if a car comes in with one it gets replaced with one from the dealership you know so little things attention to detail this car like i don't do this on every car but these wheels specifically like these have all been torqued and you'll see like little paint marks between the stud and the nut you know, oh, wow. um, obviously I got the customer's permission. If this was like a set of high dollar wheels or under different circumstances, we wouldn't do that. But it's track specific. So this way he can go to the track and he can very quickly visually walk around his car and make sure that all, their lug nuts are tight. Mm -hmm. um, it's very easy to just to see, to see yeah, it. Yeah, that's no really tool. cool. I've never seen any other shops do that. I've seen it on roller coasters, but uh, never yeah. seen that in person. Man. And we do nice. that on pretty much everything. Um, oh, wow. This is the underneath, um, obviously. <laughs> Look at that. You know, so I do that same thing. So, I mean, if you look up here, um, obviously, cats have been deleted, long tube headers, which is just nothing special. But, I mean, if you look up here, the draft shaft's been upgraded. And if I don't know if you can get that shot. So, if you look, you can see every bolt 
um, on the adapter to the plate and the drive shaft. Everything has been torque spec and marked with a oh, marker. Oh yeah. Wow, that's really nice, man. On the Demons, we use a dual boost to pump setup because the Demon has two pumps on it. Fuel pumps? Two fuel pumps, and then mm -hmm. we have a dual boost to pump. What's a boost to pump? Um, it just increases the voltage to the fuel pump under oh. boost. Okay. okay. So it just higher, makes more output. So like, these are all the factory wires that come out. And then, yeah, I mentioned a little something earlier. So this wire right here is my, a boost to pump reference wire. So you can mm -hmm. see the factory uses this tin foil heat type stuff, and I use an actual metal braid. <laughs> nice. And this is the you know, GT um, 150 series Delphi connector. Oh, you wow. Know? So all the connectors that are used are all OEM connectors. Yeah, so this is where the boost pump's located, and it's a dual fuse, and this all comes from Kenny Bell. Um, but behind the interior panel, um, the Demon has two fuel pump control modules. And you can tap in, you can wire this however you want to. This is the way we do it. Um, so if you fold this back, I'll show you. So normally this wouldn't be anything, but so the, those are the two fuel pump control modules. And you can, you could cut into this factory harness here um, and tap into your lead. Um, but instead, this just is unplugged and this is just a, a a jumper harness basically you know so these are gt280 delphi connectors so we come off and the the wire lead that we need to tap onto on this is just done via this oh that's nice so this comes and this is a uh, 630 series delphi connector oh huh. yeah wow. so everything's totally unpluggable um it's loomed up and pinned um really looks pretty oem you know i'm not even sure if i didn't point it out you it know? does look really nice super was, clean yeah one of the things I think is really cool too is to be able to see underneath here and, and see, you know, not just the stuff that, that you guys do, but also the engineering that's been done by, you know, Dodge. Yeah, all the um, electronic, you can see the dampers, yeah. and that's what does the, all the drag features and everything. Oh, wow. We retain the stock cat back exhaust. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, it sounds good. Um, yeah. It's an adequate size. Super nice and clean too, fits nice with the body lines. Yeah, it gain, you gain no more power and I think the car sounds really good mm -hmm. with just the headers and you had to leave. Oh, I agree. So stock resonators, um, you know, I mean, that's about it. I mean, all the heat shielding, you try to just make it like the car. What is this? This is a uh, cutout active, valve or something? Active exhaust valves. Okay. And we leave those. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's all hooked up. Oh, that's cool. And then the, the headers, yeah. these are aftermarket or are these yeah, factory? Yeah, those are um, American Racing header. We use two inch primary long tube headers. Oh, nice. And cat delete connection pipes. Um, you're trying to make sure all the exhaust clamps are clocked perfectly parallel. Yeah. And it's super clean. Everything has, every bolt has ANSCs on it. Oh yeah, that's nice and symmetrical. Very good. Just the detail stuff, you know. Oh man, look at these brakes. Yeah, that's all Dodge right there. Some big stuff, man. Yeah, these are, it's really cool to see under here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, they got a little brake duct right there. Yeah, cool. inside, um, like these are all heat exchangers you can see inside through here. Oh. And they all come through the front. The car will have its own cooling system, which is over here. So just like any traditional car. So it'll mm -hmm. pass through the radiator, through the engine, um, through the heater core, just like normal. Mm -hmm. So on a, on a root style supercharger, um, it doesn't have the capability to have like a um, a front mount intercooler like on a turbo or on a centrifugal supercharger where it picks up air, it goes through the supercharger, gets compressed, and before it enters the engine, it has a chance to pass through an intercooler, okay? So on a root style, the air is all getting compressed right here on top of the engine and immediately enters it. So the way that they cool the, in, the, the intake air is through coolant, okay? So it has its own cooling system. So this is the reservoir for the supercharger. And it, most any aftermarket um, or stock root style supercharger will be set up this way. So these coolant lines are for the supercharger. So it's a very small closed loop system. It basically you have a reservoir, what passes through the supercharger and somewhere incorporated inside the supercharger will be like a, a cooling brick, um, a heat exchanger of some sort. Looks just basically like a heater core. On, on the Hellcat, you saw them on both sides. So some of them will use a solid plate design. Um, it just depends on the manufacturer. 
and it'll get routed through here to the front of the car and it will have a heat exchanger which you can see in there it looks just like an AC condenser um, and you can see through here but instead of being like a a, uh, a traditional like a front mount intercooler which is just air to air in other words it's just air passing across air inside the thing there's coolant inside here so it's a heat exchanger um, so it functions exactly like a radiator you know so that 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 cools the intake charge all the time um, the chiller thing is something separate where it will it will additionally pass through what looks exactly like a if you get an evaporator in a car just like a heater core it gets very cold so the air that passes across the evaporator that's chilled um, mm -hmm. comes out of your vents as cold air with air conditioning on so what it does is it just blocks that off and has another one so it's, it'd be like if you took an evaporator and encased it where coolant could go through it you know so it can go through a uh, instead of just this in the front of the car which is like a radiator so if it's 80 degrees out or you mm -hmm. know it's 80 degree air um, it can go through a an evaporator type piece that could get as cold as one in a car so it might be 40 degrees you know so it can drastically cool the the coolant before it passes back to the supercharger this unit right here um, what it will do is this comes in the crate the demon mm -hmm. crate um, the stock one does not have this high octane button right there you see the gas pump oh yeah so the crate one does and it correlates with the crate PCM okay okay so this is your high octane button so if you go in here to like SRT Okay, so you'll see that this is a little bit different than the Hellcat. Um, you don't have as many, you know, so you have a drag mode. Oh man, that's cool. Yeah, so what it's telling you, so it's in a specific mode right now, just go to go on a straight line, quarter mile specific. Um, do you hear out there right now that, that fan kick? Yeah, on? I do. Okay, so that's cooling off. It's, when it's in drag mode, now the air conditioner, say it was hot out here, would not be working in here. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's obviously I don't have it on because it's 68 yeah. degrees. It's cold. But yeah. you would notice that the air was on. So that's the the fans out there running for the AC condenser, oh, and that's shit. cooling the intake charge. Wow, that's cool. So that's we can go around and like if we look over here, the the different things that's engine coolant, trans. Well, now we just started the car, obviously. Oil, oil pressure, oil light voltage take your temperature so we're at 91 degrees so you would wow. you would notice this drastically and you could monitor this in drag mode um, engine torque engine power these are the same man. thing as the Hellcat air fuel ratio it runs factory wide man so, oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> so you can monitor this um, and it'll tell you boost so you can see exactly how much boost you're running oh, while the throttle cool. um, and this is intercooler coolant temperature so mm -hmm. this is the this is the the unit that I showed you out front Okay, so you see the temperature right here. Mm -hmm. the, the air conditioner is cooling this specifically, the intercooler out front. So right now it's 70 degrees out and our intercooler temperature is 10 degrees below ambient. Nice. Okay, because Whoa. the air conditioner says that. So you see it's dropping, now it's 59 degrees. Oh, no shit. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And it'll continue to get colder and colder. Yeah, so if you're at the track, this is constantly like cooling you know, to get the blower yeah. to cool down. So that's a pretty cool feature. You know, so this is, so the tires are filled with air, but I'll just kind of roll into the throttle, you know, slowly. <laughs> so that's not, traction's not too bad right there. Oh, wow. Man, that thing gets up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> suspension drag mode so when we did that hit okay so I'm just gonna kind of roll into the throttle okay. do, you feel, yeah. do you feel the car shift back they did yeah okay so obviously it's not getting traction you know they are the tires are fully aired up but huh. just like a drag car you'd want to set a drag car up for the track it 
throws the weight of the vehicle oh, over yeah. the back tires so you know so it launches so they can do that all electronically with the electronically controlled yeah, shocks and everything that's cool yeah, yeah. so <laughs> driving around on the street is a little annoying because you don't want your car yeah. you know it's like that lurching yeah yeah someone would have a lot of fun with one of these cars because you can just it's just instant hit yeah it, it, was, it wasn't so cold i'm just i'm rolling in the throttle yeah. um, to try to keep it straight you know so if it's warm out and the tires are aired down and you can just stomp into the floor it's oh i bet it looks good yeah yeah, yeah. oh so there we have it this is a thousand horsepower demon uh, i gotta say i'm pretty impressed man 